If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and Thank you all for showing kindness last week. Here are some of the things I'll we did. The light to guide you. Find out what we're made of. When well, we are called to help our friends in need. You can count on me like one, two, three. I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, and you'll be there. That's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah Ooh. 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 Yeah. Good morning, Butterfield Grass Rough Riders. This is Sheriff Acuna with your weekly announcements. Now here is Hannah to lead us in this morning's flag salute. Please stand for the flag salute. Take all hats and hoods off. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready to begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Hannah. And now to our star spotlights. We have Ellie in Ms. Reyes' class for taking responsibility and A-plus attitude for being a good listener and staying focused on her work. And we have Ezra in Ms. BC's class for an A-plus attitude. He preserve, he um, asks questions and asks clarifying questions. We have Elena in Ms. White's class for taking responsibility, A-plus attitude, and respect yourself and others. Ask good questions and thoughtful towards others. In first grade, we have Jasmine in Ms. Wilder's class for noticing mistakes, A-plus attitude. We also have Avery in Ms. Wilder's class for taking responsibility, speaking in complete sentences. Aria in Ms. Thompson's class for taking responsibility, making good choices. Ethan in Ms. Tatura's class for taking responsibility, following directions. Samyukta in Ms. Romo's class for taking responsibility, great details in writing. Oliver in Ms. Romo's class for A-plus attitude, helpful to his teacher. And in fourth grade, we have Liam in Ms. Mendoza's class for taking responsibility, using time wisely to complete daily 15 in IXL. And we have Jaden E in Ms. Curry's class for our A-plus attitude, top five in Freckle. And we have Lucy L in Ms. Larzo's class for taking responsibility, doing what she was supposed to be told without, doing what she's supposed to do without even being told. And we have Mia in Ms. Zavala's class for taking responsibility for answering in complete sentences. And we have Asha in Ms. Zeldabar's class for taking responsibility for writing in the agenda on time. And we have Alexa in Ms. Alba's class for taking responsibility for coming into class quietly and getting ready for the day. Congratulations to this week's Star Spotlight winners. If your name was called, you can come to the office to get a prize, but remember, you need to wait for your teacher's permission. Our school-wide expectations spell star, and they are S. Safety first. T. Take responsibility. A. A plus attitude. R. Respect yourself and others. Always strive to be a star. star. This week's PBIS message is on having an A plus attitude. An A plus attitude on the playground is all about playing by the rules and making sure we are being courteous and including others who want to play in your kickball or basketball game. So be the star you are by having an A plus attitude on the playground. Okay, friends, tomorrow we have spring pictures and sixth graders are going to be taking their promotion pictures. I can't wait to see everyone's beautiful smiles. Our AR level eight for February 1st through 15th people are in first grade. We have Chloe C and Alina H. In second grade, we have Jalen G, Fiona L, Evan Z, and Grace Z. In third grade, we have Ravi G and Isabella N. In fourth grade, we have Liam T. And in fifth grade, we have Nora A, Jaden E, Jack F, Mia G, Lucy M, Eason W, and Cruz Z. And in sixth grade, we have Giselle C. Congratulations and keep reading. Have a great day and a great week, Rough Riders.